everyone, it's Miss Michelle from the Southfield Public Library. Welcome to a fall craft for our story time. Today I'm going to be making a paper wreath with made out of a plain paper plate. The cool thing about your wreath is you can use home objects like tissue paper along with items you find in nature. I've got a pretty feather here and I've got some flowers from the garden as well that I tacked on. I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a space where you can work comfortably with glue. So I've got a tablecloth on the table and I've got a little rag with some water on it for my fingers in case I need it dealing with glue. Some other things I need are scissors, tissue paper, ordinary plain paper plates, some ordinary white glue, which I put into a paper cup with a paintbrush so that I can brush it onto my space that I'm gluing things onto. So here's the tissue paper. I've got lots of different colors. I'm going to show you how to cut up squares really easily. You don't need a lot of tissue paper. You just need a little. So first, fold up your tissue paper all together with all the colors together. Fold it up into like a one long piece. Then you take your scissors and you cut about an inch. And you'll have one long strip with lots of colors together. See that? Then you just take your strip and you cut squares about an inch. And you keep cutting until you've cut up all your tissue paper. And you can always cut more tissue paper, but you can't put it back together. So since you probably use it for wrapping presents and other things, start small first and then work your way up. You can always use it again later. You can cut some more. The next part of our project is to cut out the wreath shape from our paper plate. So what you want to do is take a paper plate. This is an ordinary paper plate, and you can see there's a circle around the inside for where your food usually sits. We're going to use that as our place to cut. So what you want to do is hold your paper plate facing up, and you're going to gently fold it in half. You're not going to fold it so that it has a crease in it. You're just going to hold it like a sandwich, like a taco, like that, and we're going to cut. So you want to take your scissors and you start at the spot where the line is and you cut in. And then you cut all the way around so you have a big hole. And hopefully you've lined up your paper plate well enough that you're cutting right on that edge. Just like that. You can always trim up the pieces that are a little bit off or leave it, whichever you want. We're going to glue on the inside of the paper plate today, but you could do the outside. I think the inside is probably easier. So that would be the side that you would eat out of. So once you've got this cut out, set aside this piece. You don't need it anymore. Maybe you'll use it for another project. And you're going to start gluing things in place. So I've got my tissue paper squares right here, and I've got a bunch more that I already cut too. Mine are all different colors. You probably want to use ones that look like fall leaves, but it's okay if you have bright, vibrant ones too. You can make a wreath like this any time of year. So you can make one in the spring as well. You could even make one in the winter with like greens and some white for snow. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is you want to put some glue around a space in your project so that you have um, wet glue ready to be papered. So I'm going to put my glue around and you can see I just glued this little bit here because I want it to be wet. If you put glue down in too much of a space, sometimes it dries and then you have to go back over it again. That could be annoying. So what you want to do is take one of your tissue paper squares and you scrunch it up. There's no science to this, no perfect art. I scrunched it up and then I want to stick it onto my wreath like that and you just keep scrunching and sticking until you've filled up that entire space and you've got beautiful flowers on your wreath that's what you do that's our project today 
The other thing I'm going to do, like I said, I found some things in nature. And like um, some feathers. And so I'm going to glue on a feather. And I'm going to glue on some flowers. The feathers glue on pretty easily. The flowers, on the other hand, take a little bit of practice and time. You have to be patient. So here is my flower. It looked like this. Oh, and I have this one too. So I'm going to strip off the extra leaves and cut it down a little bit. And I'm going to paint some glue onto my wreath. I want to make sure you have a good amount of glue because the na natural things don't stick quite as well as the paper. And I'm going to glue the actual flower on, not just the stem. And sometimes you need to add extra glue into your box like I do right now. I need to put more glue in my cup so that I can glue down my project. And the natural items might take a little bit more glue on top, not just on the bottom to stick. So I'm going to tap some glue on top of it to stick it down to my paper plate. And it might take a little bit of time. I might have to hold it so it stays down. Let's see. And you can make that the bottom of your plate or the side, I mean the side of your wreath or the bottom of your wreath, however you'd like. And I'm going to add a couple of um, feathers onto that too. The purple feathers would be really beautiful right there. So I'm going to add a purple, a couple purple feathers. Maybe you don't have color feathers, maybe you just have feathers from your backyard or you can buy some at the store. See? Now I need to add more glue to continue around my wreath and add some more tissue paper. So I'll keep doing that. You just scrunch it up any old way and you pop it on there. And it looks like flowers all bunched together. You can even add green ones so it looks like there's some green leaves. I don't think I have any green tissue paper today. But you could add green. You could add whatever color you really enjoy. Whatever makes you happy. That's what you should do. And here is my wreath continuing. And you can go all the way around the paper. If you want to, you can paint the paper plate a particular color so that it has a background. Or maybe that would be the decoration on one side and painting on the other. You can write a message to somebody you love on the paper wreath. Maybe it says, I love you, Mommy, or I love you, Daddy, or Happy Fall. And you can give it as a present. And that is our fall project for today. I hope you enjoyed story time, and I hope you enjoyed the craft. Take care.